Hey guys, this is Chase with Rocky Mountain Nate to VMC. Welcome to our off-road brake pad overview. Today we're going to give you the knowledge you need to know what brake pads to choose next. Alright guys, so if the time has come to either replace or upgrade your brake pads, knowing what brake pads to choose is going to be very important. You want to pick a brake pad that's going to fit the rider's needs and get the performance that you're looking for. Some guys might want more stopping power, more bite, while others might want more smooth and a more progressive feel with their brakes. And that's where knowing what materials to choose when getting your brake pads is going to be crucial. So we're going to talk about two different brake pads today. We're going to talk about carbon and centered. Those are the two most common, most used brake pads on the market. So we're going to give you all the knowledge you need to know how to choose your next brake pad. So sit back, relax, and let's get right to it. All right guys, so first we're gonna talk about center brake pads. Now center brake pads are, are by far the most commonly used brake pad in the off-road market today. These are gonna come stock on just about all of your ATV and off-road vehicles. Now here at Rocky Mountain, we have a ton of different brands. We have Tusk, Pro-X, Galfer, and EBC. Now we're gonna talk about center brake pads and how they're made. They are made from metallic particles that are fused together and it creates a compound that it creates a ton of friction with your rotor. These are going to give you the most stopping power of any brake pad and they're also going to last the longest. That's why they're so commonly used for off-road vehicles. However, there are a couple differences that we want to point out in some of our cinch brake pads that we do carry. If you're a motocross racer or a desert racer and you want the most stopping power, look at the MXS from EBC. This is specifically made to have the most bite and stopping power for you racers out there. If you're an ATV or a UTV guy and you want to get the most life for those severe conditions, if you ride in a lot of muddy or wet conditions, check out the Severe Duty brake pad from EBC. They're not going to have as good of a stopping power or bite as an MXS, but they are going to do the job. They're going to be extremely well in those severe conditions and last a very long time. So if you're looking for the most bite and stopping power out of your brake pads, either stay with or switch to a center brake pad. All right, so next moving on, we're going to talk about carbon brake pads. Now I brought in a carbon brake pad from Tusk. Now carbon pads are not going to have the stopping power or the life expectancy of a center brake pad, but they are going to give you a smoother, more progressive feel while you're out riding and they don't heat up as fast. So if you've ever had a problem with your rotors overheating, you can solve that by switching to a carbon brake pad. These are going to have a very smooth feel. So if you're looking for something with less bite, less stopping power and smooth, make sure you consider a carbon brake pad when choosing your next set. All right, so last but not least, when you're on our website at RockyMountainATVMC.com, click on our parts finder, enter the make, model, and year of your machine, and go to brakes, and it will show you all the different brake pads that we carry exactly for your machine. If you have any questions or want to know how to install these, we have a how-to video you can click on, and we will show you exactly how to install your brake pads. If you do have questions, we have an online tech chat support, so you can talk with someone online, or you can call us up and speak with a technician, and they will answer all the questions that you have. So thanks for checking out this buyer's guide for brake pads. If you want to see more videos like this one today, subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave us your thoughts and comments, and let us know what other products you'd want to see up here. I'm Chase with Rocky Mountain, and we'll see you on the trails.